Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the marketing major. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? Now this one unfortunately has a negative reputation as being for those who are somewhat math shy or scared of doing the analytical side of things as far as a business school is concerned. The reason I say unfortunate is that much of the modern marketing industry involves the compiling and actually marketing <laughs> of uh, business intelligence. So we'll get into that in just a little bit here. But first, it's worth noting a lot of people, a lot of schools, marketing, advertising are more or less together, although you have in some cases a separate degree for advertising. Now, that's a field that for all intents and purposes has changed dramatically from the Don Draper LOL days. We have less and less magazines, billboards, eh, to a certain extent, but much of it is not even on TV anymore. It is, of course, the digital media streaming. And so adaptability and willingness to think ahead is going to help a great deal. If you're not a terribly creative person, you probably don't want to go into marketing unless you plan to become creative in some sense or just work on more of the data side. So just looking at the BLS here, as you can see, the different roles have been uh, bound up together. 6% growth, about 18,000 jobs, so not spectacular, but at least there's some. When I talked about this a couple of years ago, I believe it was double-digit growth. So that might just be a reflection of changes in the industry or differing technologies, but you know you should always be aware of what you're getting yourself into. And we have some other things from marketing manager here, and then of course market research analysts. This is what I talk about in terms of the business intelligence, because what some people will do is they literally take all this aggregate data that comes from shopping receipts and they'll compile it, organize it and sell it back to retailers to let them know, look, this is actually doing well, stock more of it, or perhaps uh, start offering it earlier on if it's a back to school type thing. Uh, that is actually a big part of it. And that's where data science can play an important role. Uh, it's not just I'm doing the marketing program, but if you can tack other stuff on, your practical ability is going to be especially valuable. And really in that same vein, pursuing these other little courses, whether while you're in college or before you go, is a good, a good idea. I mean, they're not terribly expensive. You can actually audit them for free, or if you want the certificate, it's usually 50 bucks. Um, digital marketing. Facebook, social media marketing, marketing strategy. A lot of this stuff is out there, just like books on marketing are out there. So you don't have to say, well, unless my professor tells me I can't do it. That is the attitude which gets you nowhere in life. You have to be proactive if you really want to uh, achieve success. And here we've got some stuff on data science, which uh, the skill set is a little bit more advanced, but you have a bit of beginner courses, so you shouldn't worry too much about that. Just start investigating it gradually. I mean, a lot of this stuff, a few hours a week, and you are taking on board something that other people may not be even thinking of because they're just going, i got to do what the curriculum says and nothing more. Uh, as far as the best programs... You know, U.S. News and Report, I would take what they say with a little bit of uh, skepticism. But just if it's a good undergraduate business school, it probably has a decent marketing program. If you're at a lower tier school, it might just be one of those things that's tacked on. So in that you know whole approach, recognize being able to demonstrate your ability beyond the classroom is really important. Sure, you can be in a student group, you can do projects, but if you build up like a YouTube channel successfully and preferably on a, you know, a subject that's not controversial, that shows, oh, wow, this person can actually do something without direction from, you know, some kind of authority. Other things you might be able to achieve if you can effectively start your own business and market it. So that's where it's looking towards the future and not just going, when I get the job, I'll learn this stuff, but I'm actually trying to uh, take it on upon myself to pursue that independently. And that will look good when you're trying to apply for a position or even an internship. And so we have a couple of options here. This is J.P. Morgan and Chase. If you're okay with working for the big banks, they have a couple of internships. Now, of course, they have much emphasis on the analytical side of things. So that's why 
Ideally, if you do something like marketing, you're going to be taking a certain number of classes in economics, finance, accounting anyway. But if you want a double major, that's not a terrible idea either because that's just the name of the game. Everything is about numbers, especially when it comes to business. So uh, these applications are closed now, but throughout the year or next year, they're going to open up again. So that's one thing to consider. We also have with the government, this is the National Archives communications and marketing internships because of COVID. They're not currently accepting applications, but again, that will probably shift because, you know, internship labor is in high demand. And so really just kind of wrapping it up, understand like any of these other fields, you go beyond the classroom. You know, you start pursuing things on your own. It shows gumption. It shows motivation and drive. And you may not even need the degree. If you do well enough with one of these online startups, or promoting your own business, that could just be your launch pad. And then you don't actually have to pursue four years of all these classes because you've lived it. So, you know, marketing, it's not necessarily the most valuable, but it's also not one I would write off entirely. Regardless of your choice, make sure, uh, keep the debt down, go to a school that's decent, but you don't go to one of these. I got to, you know, spend 50 grand a year just for tuition because it's not worth it.